In this module, we will cover getting started, accessing patient records, patient summary, and additional patient information. Let's get started. Since Arizona's HIE allows you access to sensitive data, Contexture has added a layer of security to the portal called Multi-Factor Authentication, or MFA. This ensures that only authorized users are accessing PHI. MFA is a security best practice for all organizations with access to PHI and is a requirement for Contexture products as a result of our High Trust certification. Start by downloading the Google Authenticator app or Microsoft Authenticator app on your smartphone or any other third-party authenticator app approved by your IT department. You can find these in the App Store on your phone and are at no cost to you. If this is your first time logging into the portal, you will have received an email from the Contexture Client Support Team with your login information. Go to the HIE 3.0 portal homepage at contexture.org forward slash HIE 3.0 and log in. On the login page, enter your username and password from the email. You will need to change your password the first time you log in. The new password must contain the following items. A minimum of eight characters, at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and one special character. Enter your username and password on the login page. Once you're logged in with your username and password, you will see this screen. Use the Authenticator app on your phone to get your verification codes. After you have entered the first authentication code, you will need to wait until your authentication app generates the second authentication code in about 30 seconds. Once you input the second authentication code in the second line, you can enable your account. Once you have multi-factor authentication set up via the app, each time you log into the Arizona's HIE portal, you will enter your username and password. Then you will input the code that is provided to you in the Authenticator app. In this section, we will cover accessing patient records. Upon successful login, the search page will display. The two default search groups are demographics, which includes the last name, first name, and date of birth, or patient ID, which is the ID assigned to the patient record. Include a search reason when performing a search. The search reason is why you are reviewing the patient's information. This will help identify the reason for performing a search in case there is an audit of what you viewed. A search reason is required. Advanced search options are available under the search reasons bar, such as demographics, insurance, patient group, and provider. Multiple search parameters can be combined to form a search. The parameters are shown at the bottom of the search page. A successful search will display a list of matching results. The search sidebar will display the search parameters. You can modify the search parameters and categories from the search sidebar. From the search result list, click an individual row to view the patient record. In this section, we will review the patient summary. After selecting a patient, the summary will display a record of clinical data from multiple data sources. Each data category has its own card. Data that displays is dependent upon your user role. Cards help to visualize patient data. Select the card title to view the card details. Cards may or may not be visible depending on your user role. For example, health plan users will only have access to 36 months of data. The following are examples of data cards. Encounters, allergies, results, medications, conditions, and more. Click on each card to view additional information. You can move patient data cards within the patient summary page by clicking on configure layout. In this section, we will review how to access additional patient information. From the Patient Summary page, select More Patient Information to view demographics, insurance provider information, and more about the selected patient. The General section includes data cards for demographics, language, care providers, next of kin, and support person. 
The demographics card includes information such as name, date of birth, address, phone numbers, and email addresses. To view demographics history, select the icon at the top of the demographics card. The demographics history includes the history of changes such as name, address, communication, email, etc. Data sources for any data entered into the system is displayed here as well. If the patient has provided consent to access protected Part 2 data, the consent form is in the Additional Information section. Consent managers who wish to view the instructions for uploading consent forms, please visit the Job Aids folder in the Learning Center and click on Consent. A best practice to follow when you are done with your session is to log out. To log out, select the drop-down arrow next to your account name and select Log Out. Thank you for watching.